Hello there, and welcome to episode 8 of my Vanilla Arcanix's gameplay series for RimWorld. So, we got ourselves quite a lot of things ahead of us. So, I set up building plans for a lot of wooden furniture. We fought off a crazy Neanderthal. We had that guy in last episode's outro. He was really tough like a tree. And we also will see in this episode whether or not Lynx and Don are actually meant to be seeking refuge with us or if they are traitors. If they are traitors, I already did my best to bang them up properly in the defense of this place. So today we're going to continue the fortifications of this place because we really do need more defenses and, well, I'm not sure how far we will get. Randy's sending me skulls. Jeez. All right, so before we get started for real, there is a link down there, you might already know. There's a Let's Play channel of mine, and once that thing hits 1,000 subs, I'll be providing way more Let's Play content than ever. Currently, I'm relaunching old series of mine that have been lost in time and space, aka the algorithm doesn't want to show them anymore. So there's a lot of uh, good stuff there, or, well, being put up while I'm talking. So. We got our injuries from the last fight, just some bruises because that guy was, well, I don't know. I think it was a social fight between Isa and Huntsman. Yeah, yeah, there was a insulting spree and a mental breakdown in between. But apart from that, our colony here is surprisingly well off. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is the fact that we do lack workers in general. We do lack workers quite massively. These guys here in the colony, 60% of them are just guests, you know. Most of them will go. In a couple of days, we will be down to Huntsman and Isa again. And I don't know if that's actually a smart thing. Also, I really want to set up a smelter. So let's see what we can do. This place here is really starting to be crammed, but I think I'm going to add a little bit more into this situation so we're going to set up the smelter here i will make this room a little bit more tidy in the future i do plan to get the research bench away and all but one thing at a time so let's see what are you guys up to right now he's building the wall and Lynx is cooking, that's wonderful. Isa is feeding, well, I think that's not that terribly necessary, but I guess it's good for the social interactions. So, we got ourselves a piece of wall already up and running, that's amazing. I'm so happy about that. So, let's continue that building plan. So, we're going to go down here. do something like that. The wall will close up to this part then. Jeez, this, is, this thing is gigantic. I don't know. It's my typical desert base though. My desert bases always end up being stupidly large because of those patches of soft sand. So, uh, that setup now has a massive problem though it has no kill box or or no area where we will fight so i'll be ordering a opening in this area so far won't be used because i don't have the material to build something bigger up this is already one hell of a task but we're going to make it because i think if I want to get as fast as possible to the Arcanexus ending, I will need a fortress because we will rack up wealth fast. At some point, it will be actually stupidly easy to get that done because, you know, later down the road, we will just build a factory for wealth. But right now, this would actually break my legs. So I'm currently investing my, my expansion into defenses because after that we're going to go big 
in terms of wealth generation. So starting to allocate all the limestone chunks here on the map because these guys are what we need to build those walls. But I don't want to make it too big, but I think it would be wise to expand that zone here a little bit so we have some more place to work with. Okay, so let's see. This guy is always lazy, but that's his job, basically. We do need a little bit more steel. Why is nobody mining that? Because Isa is the only person feeling like mining. Let's see what she's doing. Ah, she's uh, taking care of the trees. Well, that's an important task as well. We got only three more days worth of food, says... Well, the potatoes are soon done, soonish. Makes me really rather concerned. We're uh, always surfing on the brink. Ugh. Extreme Desert has its uh, hidden uh, problems or hidden threat rating. But apart from that, I really see that wall growing rapidly. That's why I think it was a very, very wise choice to pick up the refugees, whether or not they'll be traitors. Lynx is just so quickly downed due to the frail torso, and Don is already only half a guy after we put him into some fights there. So, that's totally okay. He's getting the job done to haul things from A to B, and that's currently all we need. So, Isa is back on the mining duty now, finally. Well, that steel is really hard earned. I mean, I could get my steel from the deconstruction of ship chunks, but I don't want that because it adds extra components into my inventory. And, well, if I have them, or one, they increase the colony's wealth, so it attracts more enemies. And for another thing, you've seen that tantrums are happening to valuable things. So while these are still in the ship component, nobody can punch them. That's basically the idea here. Because I get that question quite often. Because I, I don't deconstruct the ship chunks that are laying around everywhere. That's why. They are perfectly safe there. And uh, they are just waiting for me to pick them up when I need them. Ah... I've been talking about that the whole time. So, yeah, right on. Ugh. You guys. You guys. Alright, so... Don is going to batter up that room. And, and, and where's the other guy? Oh, Lynx is actually on Huntsman. So, we actually do have sort of a uh, dangerous situation here. I'm quite annoyed about that guy, given uh, my furniture a royal beating, especially since he's in the room where the uh, cooler's at. That annoys me to no end, because I I do foresee a, a bitter end to my uh, valuable things. Oh god, this vandal. Jeez. He's doing more damage to the interior of my room than anything else. All right, so our guests, our beloved guests, will open up that room. Jeez, I hope I can't save that heater. All right, let's open up that door and bang. Wonderful. Oh, boy. So proud of you, folks. So Don is actually still alive. And, uh, well, we're going to do something here. My people love it. So, uh, wait a second. I had that case of unhappiness in my colony because there was a lack of executions. I think this deserves exactly that. At least I was able to save the electrical devices. I'm so happy about that. This would have been very, very annoying if not. So we got to tend to that guy. Otherwise he'll die. And then after he's no longer downed, we're going to execute some judgment. All right. 
And we got a first harvest of wood here. Nice. Very happy about that. Very, very happy. Alright, so... That's why I always plan ahead when I take in refugees, whether or not I can down them or... You know? In this scenario, I think I power gamed it even by mutilating these guys so they can't they they weren't able to put up a, a big big fight anymore so don needs to be back on his feet before we can execute judgment but uh, i think that will be good for the morale so let's see yeah there at least isa will love it huntsman not so much but whatever all right so we are though at the point that i was dreading the point where we don't get too much done anymore because we are very low on hands. That was really, really something I wasn't looking forward to, so... Well, I can't change it. We still can make up progress, but there is no research happening currently, which is a shame. It would help us tremendously to get our uh, research game back up, but, uh, you know, you can't have everything, I guess. And also we need we're holding action. So Dawn is no longer incapable of walking. So Isa, I think... Oh, she's incapable of social things. Gosh. How annoying. So... Whatever. We, we gotta do what we gotta do, man. It's about time. I'm very, very displeased. There we go. Satisfying. And I gained no development points, though. Mm, too bad. Well, oh, I, I did. All right. We, we did gain one point, but no extra points because of uh, a well-executed uh, ritual or something like that. But, I mean, we're getting there. I'm overall a little bit confused about how I'm going to spread my uh, native ideology with a person that's incapable of social, but that's a topic for a different day. <laughs> oh boy! So our guest and Isa are, are getting together. Weird. No. Okay, so that's going to be a distance relationship after a while. Oh, well. That makes me really, really sad that we're down to two people again. So, Snuff from the Garbage Party. So, Huntsman, are you good at social? Not really. Is this guy worth it? Or is he even... Uh... Can you even turn him around? He's from the Pirate Faction. Hmm. Well, we're going to capture that guy alone because our peeps love executions, you know. Why not just do that again, you know? <laughs> we might have to feed him until then, but, you know. I didn't uh, roll this um, ideology on intention. And apart from that, I really want to know if this guy has unwavering resistance or not. No. Just... So we got some visitors. Well, they got something to trade, but I don't I'm not interested. They're just tribals. Best case they'd have some herbal meds, but those are grown on my backyard. It's okay. Now, Mr. Snuff, what about you? Delicate hard worker. Totally incapable of fighting, but construction and intellectual, heck, I don't care. I need people. I just need people. So we're going to recruit that guy. So, or, well, we should probably convert him first. So here, I'm interested in target ideology. Is it possible for Huntsman? to convert somebody to an ideology he's not belonging to. I would be surprised if so, but I never tried it. But I think it was, it'll be just impossible 
due to the fact that there is nobody. So we can now... Oh, wait a sec. Poor bed. We're not going to reinstall a poor bed. No, no. But I don't need to build my beds out of steel anymore. Oh, not again, those freaking drumbos. Jeez. So, I've learned from the past. We're going to put up a big harvest order here. Big harvest. Those freaking thrombos are not going to eat my harvest again. Not. I'm done with this. Isa, pick it up. We're, we got to put that into the freezer because before they, uh, they munch it all again. I'm so done with that. There they go again. Yeah. I've already eaten them. Those freaking buggers. Eating my potatoes. It has become sort of a war here. You know? Those freaking beasts, they, they just get in here and they steal my potatoes. They legit steal my potatoes. They're thieves. I really have to take some enclosure or or I, I don't know i mean we are building a stupidly large enclosure around the entire base already but by the way oh yeah we're cooking until we get 20. so i don't want you to cook that much huntsman you are busy in bringing that stuff into the freezer man oh but wait a sec it's just one drumbo though but I'm not gonna do that. Thrombos are so freaking dangerous, and they are so fast. That's a big problem there. If, if if the thrombo wouldn't be as fast, I'd be actually considering to hunt them. But, or, or it, I should rather say, I would actually consider hunting it. But, uh, I'm not convinced that we would get that off without casualties. As much as I love to get that thing off my lawn. Because I freaking hate what it does. But, yeah. Let's just hope we got, this time, enough potatoes for the Thrumbo and me. And I consider myself lucky that this time it's just one unbidden guest, you know? But we're still pulling off an all-nighter here. So gonna let them sleep over um, in shifts so after he's done with that one he can sleep and Isa takes over I really want to make sure that these buggers they don't kill my stockpiles again you know all right but looks like we're uh, we're getting the upper hand in this scenario now at least that's 850 potatoes in my freezer. That's a good start. But still, it ain't good enough. I, I need more. So public execution has a uh, cooldown of 20 days, so... Yeah, and just nobody will convert. Will try to convert him now, I guess. That's what will happen, because Isa can't do it. And... Yeah, that's that. Well, I mean, I, I don't really care about what kind of ideology we have in here. That's not really important for me. What's important for me is that we get another pair of hands. Honestly, that's what matters most to me right now. Okay, well, let's see. situation is quite stable altogether for now but we're also not making too much progress that's why I'm starting to recruit snuff because you know we need somebody here to get something done here all right been a very early harvest this time but That 
that's fine in my book. I'd love to kill that guy though. Would be a lot of uh, nice meat for the colony, and at the same time, we'd be rid of that whole potato eating problem. Others me. We even got hand grenades, but that wouldn't work. Colonist outsourcing, so... That's powerful gene pack. Oh, it makes very happy but also very sleepy. No thanks, man. You can keep that for yourself. No need. Alright, but our apartments are getting some serious upgrades, you know? Isn't that nice? Alright. Trumbo is leaving the premises so we can chill down a little bit. Perfect. So, turns out my stockpiles are just huge by now, or the feels, I should rather say, that the visitation of that guy wasn't that much of a big deal. I'm quite happy about that. Also, we're making pretty good progress in converting stuff. Much faster than I anticipated, actually. So, turns out, Social 4 gets the job done. Not bad. Not bad at all. So the plan will be to get the war zone out here somewhere in this box. So this is where the killing will happen. Probably I will do something for the back entrance as well, but I don't think that'll happen for real. We got here, therefore, a really nice perimeter for the entire base. I really like that. It's pretty big, but it's not as big as I had feared. We're just taking the very center of the, of the map. For a moment I was afraid that I've made it a little bit too large, but I don't think that's the case, actually. So, yeah. This episode we are working a lot on sustainability, but I gotta say, what should we do if we get trade on a scale like that? I mean, this was not too much of something that hurt us in terms of, um, how to put it, in terms of threat. This wasn't putting up a huge threat to us at all, but it d did set us back in, in so many ways. If these two guys wouldn't have decided to rebel on us, we probably would have already done that part of the wall completely. But it is as it is, and, well, the, po the, the po potato operation surely also did to cost us some time, but I'm very happy to see that the apartment upgrades are happening. So we got mediocre rooms now. It's actually a cool upgrade. It sounds like not much, but a mediocre room is actually already providing no more debuffs. And if I remember correctly, it can even be enough to make the people somewhat happy. I'm not sure about it anymore. But we surely won't suffer any um, morale debuffs anymore because of the, the ugliness of the room. So, that thing's cleaned up. Let's see how it, uh, how it goes. Yeah, mediocre. So let's see how Isa feels about her room. So, spacious interior. So <laughs> this is a big room for room world people. Yeah. My friend Don died. So, wait a sec. Okay. She does have regrets on killing that guy. Poor Isa. He didn't really leave as much of a choice, my lady. Well. So, I got some sandstone blocks left over, and I decided that we're going to put them to some use. Some add-on to the structure here. You know, I just want to have more living room for my people. And this is uh, the easiest way to get that job done. So we're just going to add a couple of extra rooms here. And since I still have a, a couple of sandstone blocks left over, and we can pilfer way more from those ruins, 
will be a nice uh, pastime project for Huntsman. Because I don't see us uh, carving out too many extra limestone blocks in the near future. Hauling doesn't get really uh, done in the time that I want it to get done. Oh, a first haygrass harvest. We just need now animals again. So that stuff is deteriorating in 60 days. It lasts an entire year. It's pretty good. So stuff should be stored in here if everything goes right. We'll see about that. I really want more colonists. I feel so horrible about the low amount of people here. Quite happy that we're trying to recruit that guy here. He's going to be an excellent addition to the colony. He has a lot of passion for many things we require. And the quick sleeper trade and hard worker, they're really good. Especially considering that he's also passionate about mining and plants, which are both tasks that require, um, well, a long time sitting down somewhere. I don't know if it also works on research. Let me know if you know. But uh, either way, hard worker is a really great trait to have. And I'm really happy to see how quickly we get that conversion down or, or recruitment as it is. Yeah, this place has become a thriving little oasis. I'm happy. Hospitality for a friend. Again? So we can get ourselves yet another person so meet lissa lissa is incapable of firefighting plant work and mining but she is whoa she's hired dude that is some awesome setup jeez wow industrious on a mainline crafter with crafting 18. we will crap out money in such a speed with this lady that we will host yet another guest. Welcome, Combo. Um, do we have a bed? Yes, we have. No problem. Nice. Jeez, that's going to be a big payoff. I mean, it does take a while, and we get a bulk goods trader. Bam. So, let's see. Is Birium Concord? These are also the people that I like to see in my colony. Because they are the modern, uh, the modern action. So with some luck, we might be even getting something really nice out of that guy. So let's see, donkeys. I want donkeys, man. We don't have the money yet, but oh, I got, I got the hay grass. I got the enclosure. We got everything we need for them, donkeys. So let's make that happen. Take my thrumble fur, man. I don't need it that badly. I mean, we're getting a big, uh, bad crafter, and it is kind of a big investment there. But you see, I don't have much that I can sell apart from that. And I want those donkeys. They will, they, they will help us a lot. Sadly, this caravan doesn't come with guns. Sometimes you get lucky and you can get, grab a spare gun that they have. But we weren't getting that lucky. Also, something that I want to have from these guys, cloth. I haven't planted out any cloth whatsoever in, so far on my fields, and a couple of very interesting buildings can be only built with cloth. So that's going to be our our purchase here. There we go. Because it's really, if you want to have a billiard table or a poker table, all those things, they're not happening without cloth. Therefore, I really uh, enjoyed that one. So. <laughs> Ah, look at those. So, I'm gonna take care of that teenage vengeful crowd in between the episodes, and uh, we're going to say goodbye for today. Or, well, I'm going to call this guy in the outro. So, thanks so much for watching, you folks. I really hope you enjoy your stay. I enjoy the series massively, and we're making nice progress. This episode wasn't so action packed, but we had very very important pieces of progress here we have had the and we had a little bit of a betrayal i just played it through like boss there but well it wasn't too hard the the enemy battered up these guys already in the beginning so leave me your comments down below thanks for watching you all and i hope you will come back again feel free to leave this video a thumbs up it would be deeply appreciated because as these series grow longer 
they really attract less and less people and thumbs up and comments help the algorithm to take care of that problem. This guy's running away. And yeah, there is also a playlist link down there in the description box. So if you want to check out the entire series, you can find it there. And of course, check out Patreon, Paypal, or buy me a coffee. These three things are the ways and means how to support me best way directly because that's where I get the least money stolen in form of fees and I'd be really happy if you give them a look. That being said, thank you so much for still hanging out here. That's in fact more important than anything else and uh, I hope you will come back again when we're going to get ourselves through the next chapter of the story where I feel like we're going to get ourselves... Once these extra people hit the colony, we will have really, really cool things going on. And that is one of the weirdest fights I've ever had in real world. Have a nice day, everybody, and see you soon.